I live on the south end of Balsam Lake. I taxi into the water with my uh, CB, which is over here. Um, 7.30 in the morning, I open up the throttle and I fly 10 minutes and come to work and I go home in the evening. I, it always worries me, the noise footprint, and we want something that I can taxi into the lake and Balsam Lake, depart, come to work, you won't even know I've gone. We're here at Lindsay Airport. Uh, we've developed uh, a new airplane uh, called the Ryzen X3. It has some really interesting features. Uh, it's been designed uh, to be the safest amphibious airplane uh, currently available. Um, this is our quarter scale uh, research uh, airplane. We built a quarter scale model, uh, filled it full of interesting telemetry so we can actually uh, test the uh, airplane and get data back in real time, including even things like a video camera on the tail to uh, tell us what it's doing. There's two separate features that are really unique in this airplane. One is the platform of the airplane. The number one issue with amphibious airplanes, if you ever accidentally land them in the water with the wheels down, and people do that, it's, we're humans, we make mistakes, land on the water the wheels down, the airplane will instantly go upside down, very hard on the airplane, very hard on the people. This airplane has been designed with a unique uh, landing gear that we've applied for a patent on, that if you land it in the water with the wheels down accidentally, it will not go upside down. We've actually tested that was the reason to build a quarter scale model was to actually test that. All the design work's been done in uh, 3D CAD and uh, we use a virtual wind tunnel, it's called computational fluid dynamics, to assess how it's going to work. And our goal now is to raise funding so we can actually build a full scale prototype of the airplane uh, for testing. The other unique feature of the airplane is the hybrid uh, engine that we've developed for it. We've, uh, uh, depart the airport and come back to the airport to keep the noise footprint low and use a V8 powered range extender to give the airplane range. Because unfortunately today the batteries aren't to the technology that you get a lot of distance up. But you can get to the airport, you can depart from the airport in a, in a low noise scenario um, to get you in and out, give you a reduced carbon footprint and uh, a lot less environmental impact.